Greetings everyone, this is Lord Rick and this is a game of One the Pacific Edmunds Edition. Today we will check the 30th December 1941 uh, in the match against Jochen, Jochen allies, player and for me it is the Empire of Japan. This is now the last days of the year, or also I think now the third week of the war, end of the first month. I think the first or the second January of uh, 42 I will make this uh, special episode about the overall strategy, tactical, strategic situation. Uh, so let's see if there's still anything important happened in this last two days. Or if we maybe can have a smooth uh, change of the year. I take here this uh, smaller islands and uh, close to Singapore, it's okay. All of these islands are changing, uh, I do must uh, invade later with my Navy Guard units. It saves some time. You can see there's a submarine near to the bay of uh, Tokyo. But I'm not sure if there is also a, and then a combat. Looks like no night activity. No, the night was quiet. Oof. It is good for me or good for Jochen with the allies. And the sub disappeared. So no navy engagement, no submarine warfare again. Very, very, very inactive turn so far. My carriers are spotting some... Ah, this is the destroyer from last time. I thought it Last time, day we had here two destroyers, British destroyers. And I sunk one and crippled the other one. So this is maybe this crippled destroyer. And we can finish off now this force once for all. Some bad weather issues in my sweeping suppress all air activity of the American Chinese Air Force. And the second day of my sweep over Sorabaya, uh, I have now only 13 fighters. Uh, simply, this air wing had, I think, some fatigue. So out of 18 zeros are only 13 now on a sweeping mission, trying to get rid of more of this uh, soil buyer air cover. Mostly I want normally to get rid of this uh, Blenheims, eh, uh, not Blenheims, uh, Buffalo. Who starts with me, by the way. And I have a good start, I can kill you some British Buffaloes. And a demon is, I think, the worst fighter here, maybe. But today the demon is not so bad. At least try to escape.
even if most of these pilots may be jumping out of the airframe and fight another day, uh, I would say at least up to April, the Allies have not really high production and replacement pool numbers, uh, so the losses are normally not easy or maybe already impossible for the Allies to, to replace. So at the end, maybe there are many, many pilots, but no airframes, and this means also I can control the airspace. Sooner or later, of course, the Allies are really ramping up their production. But this is then 43. Ooh, one of my damage gets the yeah, zeros gets damaged. No, not good. Yeah, again my zero must return. And no kill. Thirty fighters and so by uh, so this will be not enough today. Sooner or later I must come again.
if it if uh, 20 or 30 percent of this damage airframes are out of the war I would uh, agree it's okay but I'm not so sure about uh, how high the ops losses for Jochen are so far I'm sometimes a little disappointed uh, what my zero is reporting to get uh, destroyed or killed from So last turn I was very close to break the enemy cap, but today there are still 20 fighters left. So Johan was able to mobilize uh, more fighters compared to my numbers. Or this uh, zero fighter wing was simply not up to the task to really shatter enemy resistance. I mean, I don't lost any fighter, I only had the damaged airplanes. And uh, of course I can uh, create a lot of trouble for Jochen in the Dutch Air Force, the Dutch British. But I cannot, dom uh, this is no domination now for me, I cannot really kill your 10 airplanes and say thank you and go home. It is really like a battle, more hard working. I'm missing, I think, here the, really the numbers. I need normally more zeros. But I cannot afford to strike with too many. One of my air wing is, uh, for last turn, is uh, under repair. And uh, I need one air wing normally to support my own strike forces, so I can only spare this smaller third air wing to attack. Officially, I fear no losses, but I had many damaged airplanes, so hmm, we will see. Two lonely a little late fighters, so these are now the hardcore guys. They won't do all themselves in the load. Maybe they go in, kill two and then go fly home. Ah, this is a good start. One kill, one damage. One to second. So perfectly. Now it's time to return. Kills two
These are really hardcore guys. All these Dutch and British pilots trying to hunt down this last lonely zero, but the zero is so skillful. Even totally outnumbered and enemies diving on my fighters. Still, it shows again that uh, with enough training, with a good technical airframe, you can even outmatch uh, uh, these high numbers. But now it's saying really time to return. Okay, both zeros get damaged and must return, but uh, I think we had three or four more kills and uh, it's the same level of damage airplanes. It was not a totally clean victory, but I was able to mess up with Jochen's uh, fighters at least. And here in China I see no enemy fighters more than these guys. And you often try to escape here in this uh, uh, mountain area. But I can create a lot of uh, at least damage, not really killed. I attempt here to wipe out this uh, small base force so I don't must enter with the hex uh, in this hex uh, with some land. And again, Jochen tried to escape into the mountains. Maybe he knows that I cannot follow him. If I try to follow this small pass in the mountains, I think uh, my units will start to step. be low on supplies and have uh, problems with uh, yeah with supply line and uh, it will weaken my forces the Chinese will also be weakened but at the end I think Japan suffer more Chinese units I think I don't know if there's really a rule behind this but they are maybe more able to uh, handle this kind of situation. Also because the most of the Chinese forces are really purely infantry, they don't have really heavy equipment. They don't rely so much on the supplies. So far everything was standard, nothing crazy, no navy engagement, no submarine warfare. The air war was uh, okay. The question is from my many damage zeros how many I must or, uh, I will have no ops losses. And here are still some Russian bombers coming. I really must uh, set up here some air defense but it's a little hard for me uh, I have not enough uh, modern air wings or airframes okay this is from uh, for sure from Perth now some marauders coming trying to bomb my battleships but three are maybe really not enough And I can damage. This is long range attack, low level, uh, but no uh, no strafing attack. It's only a low. Uh, I'm not more sure. Is this 2000 is low level? I think only 1000 is low level. Naja, but at least he come very low. 
and uh, these bombers get all damaged more or less uh, and cannot score a hit. So I'm here now close range. The dive bombers coming and this is now this is damage destroyers from last time and this is of course now easy picking. And there's not much really to kill. But at least I get three bombs in this target before it's time. So some experience for my bomber too. So we're still spotting somewhere some submarines near Japan. Pictures, more, well, I don't know more, but I think there are, uh, I think last turn already also some Dutch bombers trying to attack. Lucky okay, I still hear some of my zeros. Unluckily, I can only kill one of these bombers, not all three. I still don't really understand this rule completely why they can escape. I mean, they break the attack, but. Ah yeah, so I only one kill, not three kills. So it looks like my carrier force really only sunk this destroyer this turn. No cargo ships. A little oh yeah. disappointed for me. I was hoping to get rid of uh, more of this Dutch running cargo ships. But uh, oh yeah, not every day can be successful. And at least I lost nothing. This is uh, also important. I take. No, I try to take this uh, town. And I can reduce the fort level. So normally, with the, with the base attack value is the same. I have still more after calculations, so I can. Reduce the fort from a 2 to a level 1. And I have only light losses in China, I have much higher disabled forces. Uh, so normally it's a victory, the only problem is I have is that uh, Chinese forces start with much more forces. So, yeah. But I must try to take ni next time the tour, uh, the, the hex. Uh, because I have the fort level now down. So we take Nan Yang, no yeah, already run away, so nothing special here. No enemy. Also I take the base here. Luckily my zeros give me a air cover. So no big problem. This is uh, my one of my block forces. It's only a Chinese police force. Normally they're not for fighting. 
I only use them to maybe scare Johan, but he have enough attack power here. Two Chinese armies with three corps, and uh, they can easily force my police force uh, to run uh, away. So you can see 500 attack value against 35, and these are Chinese against Chinese, so these are not Japanese forces. And uh, so, I mean, it's say Japanese ground forces, but uh, only because the nation of Japan control them. Luckily, I not really lose too much. Most is only disabled. And uh, yeah, regional. I don't know. This is Chinese garrison. I think regular uh, original garrison. Chinese. I don't know. Is there a Chinese police force? I call them always. And uh, they are not for fighting. They are really only for garrison duty. Okay, so at the end, nothing really bad happens. Just Chinese forces, I don't care. Let the Chinese kill the Chinese. I only would say it's... Uh, my carriers find nothing to really sink, to really hurt Jochen. And the air war over so by I was... Uh, yeah, long, but... Not really with the kill ratio I hoped for. So, we arrived at the, well, we arrived now the 31st of December, the last day of the year. It was a little yeah, slow to run, but, naja. So, the kill ratio is now air yeah, 7 to 4, and Opsos is, I think, is the same, yeah. So, I killed 7 buffaloes. Uh, these are British buffaloes and also four Dutch buffaloes. So in total, Jochen lost 11 buffaloes, but I lost seven zeros. And, uh, uh, not seven, six zeros. And this is, of course, a very high number. Uh, uh, I also, we kill one of the Dutch, uh, this was a killed air to air um, Navy bombers, and by I lost one key. 21 by ops in China somehow. So 13 to 7 is normally kill ratio is okay, but of course I don't want to lose 6 zero airframes. I only can say that out of the 7 airframes, I only lost really one pilot and one was wounded, but this normally can come back after one or two months. So one of my zero pi I think it was a zero pilot, really, is really dead now. But it's hard to find out who is dead. Uh, but it looks like he is one killing. Maybe this guy? I don't know. I not really track them so carefully. I uh, you know only... It can be also the bomber pilot, but this is hard to say, always. Maybe you can check it with the ops. Report. So, I think there was only this scout, uh, Admiral, Admiralty, Admiralty, S-Class destroyer, so British, they starting shitty but you can upgrade them good so better kill them now, but I was so normally, uh, I, I supposed to kill this destroyer already last turn so it's not any mm, real kill for me because he was already dead. Uh, so, and, and the ops losses, I can maybe check quickly. Uh, but... Here, this is a damage, a zero pilot was missing. Reported kill. So there was one uh, from Kaga air wing. I get the damaged airplane, won't return to car the carrier, but cannot find the carrier or whatever happens. And, uh, yeah, I have here many zeros, they crashing, they was damaged and they won't land on the carrier and this is simply more stress for the airframe. 
I don't know if how the game will really calculate this, uh, but I can understand that uh, a damaged airplane is always hard to land. And landing on a carrier is simply more stress for the airframe than landing on land. So maybe damaged airplanes tend have a higher tendency to be crashed on landing on carriers. They are all trained, so this is not a problem of the pilot. It's only maybe a problem of the airframe. And this uh, key 21 is simply only written off. So, hmm. written. Uh, don't ask me what is the difference between written off and the uh, crash on landing. I. I can only. I think if I understand it right, it's, this is. Uh, the crash on landing is the first. There's a, a check if the landing was successful. And after this is no crash. So. If the check is failed, then the airframe is crashed. Then will be the next check if the pilot survives the crash. Okay. Once the airplane is damaged, we turn to base and can land uh, successfully. Then I think there's a next check if the airframe is written off, simply by, I don't know, by luck or calculation. The, this must be the difference between crash landing and written off landing. So. But nothing really too special here. Uh, what else I can say? I think in China, the only uh, downside is that uh, Jochen was able to, yeah, but with this kind of forces, 500 attack value, five forces, were over 30,000 people. This police force was not uh, supposed to hold this, only to scare. I take Nanyang, I'm also now in uh, Luoyang. So next turn I can also take this city. Jochen is running here into the mountains and trying maybe to establish here in Ankang this city. I mean, maybe he, I don't know, but I can, I guess that he maybe will try to hold this city. So I cannot use this kind of road. Uh, and he tried to run here away to reach Xi'an before I can arrive there. But nothing really special. I s expected all of this. Uh, here is a block forces, or here is Chinese forces with one, and I have here my overall uh, uh, Kwantung headquarter army guy, and he's now blocked. Uh, yeah, luckily, I have here some some independent mixed brigade coming to clean up the mess and kick out this Chinese force. So it's only a question of time. I was able to destroy here the fort, but not uh, to take the hex, so I must try it again. But it will be a little risky, but I must try. And here is this running. The Chinese running, and I try to catch up. Uh, Jochen reinforces his forces here in the mountains, so I think I cannot attack more here. I must uh, hold the position and get reinforcements nearby. Here in the, I was able, I know I was moving last turn, I had this already. So I tried to bring my Thai forces uh, in the northern area of Taiwan, uh, Taiwan, Thailand. And maybe can kill this uh, Burma rifle guys. They're trying to escape here on the highway. I will bomb them maybe and then catch them and maybe I can force them to surrender. I normally really don't want to. Uh, run down this way it's mountain Ooh, there's nothing this is my carrier f uh, I'm a little low on fuel so I will go back to Georgetown and uh, refuel there this is my second uh, formation uh, I see here some forces so maybe I can try to s catch them <sighs> But the problem is that I'm then in range of the air force. Oh. It's a little risky if I try to hunt this down. I maybe will do it, but I must see. Normally everything is fine here. I check here the airport and I see nothing. Uh, I maybe must bring here some air force sooner or later to Georgetown to protect it, but I think I can wait one or two more turns. The rest looks all normal. 
here is no traffic more so I will bring my submarines to another location uh, and my carriers are normally in range of this unit oops it's normally five I'm not sure why we don't make the airstrike this turn uh, heavy rain partly cloudy mm, hard to say a little unlucky maybe so I can not really stay here much longer even if I want uh, it's true risky that I burn here fuel and then uh, running out of fuel this is unprofessional so at some certain point you must always run back and refuel this is all here normal 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 everything looks normal here is a heavy tanker force uh, spoiler something will happen with this tanker force uh, yeah. I I normally send some escorts to this tanker force out but if I remember I click something wrong and then I think this uh, not happened or I, I not really fully remember more I also don't realize that first in the moment something happened uh, this is unlucky because this are this, uh, the fat biggest ships possible the Japanese ever built uh, but you will see what will happen something not so good will happen this I can see so the rest is here all fine nothing special happened here uh, I bring you some patrol ships outside to cover to get uh, early interception and warnings and Rabul we had nothing I think uh, the only thing I have now here all my four carriers and I only must wait one more day that the Hiryu is also finished repair and then I can create the first carrier division again and maybe we'll sail down to direction Rabul and prepare maybe the next strike against the east coast of Australia but because Jochen is a little more aggressive I must maybe keep uh, uh, have something um, keep in mind that maybe Jochen will also use his own carriers uh, here um, to counter me and this days I'm not more sure but this days uh, the next American fleet carrier also will arrive so I think later than two weeks it's possible or three weeks end of the end of January I think at least there can be up to four American fleet carriers operating here so this is why I also must have here at least four Japanese fleet carriers that I can counter the numbers the Americans have more airframes in total on their carriers but the Japanese can operate more air wings together they are I think the Americans are limited to maximum 150 airframes per airstrike and Japan I think have always 300 at the maximum. Thank you, see you all, take care, bye bye.